I overhear Caleb talking with someone for like 10 minutes. And I'm like, kind of disgruntled customer. The biggest scammer in motorcycle history. Yeah. What's up guys, Sean here from Bikes and Beards and SRK Cycles and the heat is on. What I mean by that is not like it's hot, it's gonna get, it's get kinda cool. It's getting really nice. Caleb just got a phone call from a man and said, I like this bike right here, the Kawasaki Vulcan Voyager. He's like, but anyway, you guys could like do a test drive or he's kind of on the fence about it. Once, where'd that come from? That's nice, it's kind of a nice looking katana. Hey Caleb. Yo, where'd that katana come from? Oh, uh, that was a trade-in on the M109. Oh. Super clean, right? It looks pretty good. Bought it brand new. He's had it since now. If you guys don't know, that's the star of the uh, YouTube channel. <laughs> What's it called? Just Caleb Mayer's YouTube channel. Caleb Mayer's YouTube channel. <laughs> so I've been, I've been crushing all those videos. All the insanely good content. All right, come on, back, back to the bike, back to the bike. All right, so this guy is like, if you guys make a, uh, he's like, make a test drive video so I can see it run and maybe we'll work something out. So now the heat is on. Can I make a video so compelling, so awesome, so good that I can convince this guy to buy this bike? Now, I, make, I make a lot of videos and a lot of people buy a lot of bikes. So we're gonna bang one of those we're out right now and see if we can sell this bike to this guy. Yo, just hold on tight, all right? Here is Harrison. I can talk about the thing that they made that you can connect your phone in here. Oh, yeah? Cool, that's uh. Cool, you ready? All right, let's make a video. Let's sell this bike. Let's do that cool like dance, like choreographed dance we do before every video. Oh, yeah, the rain dance? <laughs> the, the don't rain dance? Yeah. <laughs> so do you buy a Harley Davidson Ultra Classic? Or do you spend half as much to buy this thing that does everything just as good if not better? Cue the intro. What's up guys, Sean here from SRK Cycles. This is a 2014 Kawasaki Vulcan Voyager. is does this thing really stand up to the Harley Davidson Ultra Classic? Guys, go to srkcycles.com, check out this bike and a bunch of other bikes. We ship bikes all over the country. Our prices are insane. And don't forget, it's not what you're riding, but where are you going? What you doing, Harrison? Editing the video. Uh, Harrison, you done with that video yet? What? You done with that video yet? Yeah, Everyone's all wondering when you'll be done. You published? Yep. I mean, like, it's a good video. Let me see. Let me see. What is it? 216 views and Dang! I play it. Oh, play it. oh, now you want to play it? I just don't care about the views right now, dude. All I care about is seeing the quality, bro. Ultra classic. Or you spend half as much that does everything just as good, if not better. Cue the intro. Oh. All right. The next day. Got some questions. One, did that video sell the bike? First of all, let's see how the let's see how the bike did. Let's see how the video did. Okay, here's the video. Go to analytics. Well, 28,000 people saw this video in the past 12 hours. That's pretty good. It's a little better than what our normal, a lot better than what our normal curve is. 127,000 minutes watched. But did anyone? Did the guy who we made the video for buy the bike, Caleb? What and happened? What's the verdict? Is no, I actually got a lot of text messages. <laughs> no, that's the resounding mm. answer. I got a lot of text messages literally like 20 minutes after that video was posted about people inquiring about that bike. And honestly, I think about five of the people were serious about buying it. But just one guy was like, basically, lack of better words, he literally just sent me a picture of his credit card and was like, put a deposit on it right now. Which is kind of what you have to do. People think we're joking. Oh, so someone bought it. Yeah, someone bought it. Oh. But not the guy who we made the video specifically for. Yeah, that's uh, that's kind of how it is. We um, we sell bikes pretty quick. All right. Well, it didn't work. It, we didn't sell the one one guy, but that video helped, and we sold to some other. I think he's trading in a bike too. I, I forget what he's trading in. Is he a nice guy? Yeah, he's local. Does he sound? Oh, cool. 
Yeah, so he's, he's coming Friday to pick it up. Isn't it funny how, like, car dealerships are always, like, when they're selling your car, like, oh, it was a local trade-in. Right. Because no one wants to know about these unlocal, like, these people from other states, you know what I mean? Those jerks. They're like, what's the benefit of like, local? Why, why did it? Like, yeah, like, the, the guy's just like you. Probably went to your same church. I would have noticed if he went to my same church. <laughs> Lived in your same community. Really? What was his address, you know? Right. Like, that's, like, the thing. Local trade. But local trade just means, like, in the same state. Local trade is one step down from a car salesman telling you that an old lady owned it. She drove to church once a week. An old lady drove this lifted Suburban <laughs> sitting on 44s with a supercharger on it. Took it to church? All right. All right. Hey. cool old lady. Salesmen would never lie to me. They never lie. Why did you post that video yesterday? Harrison? When was that video posted? What? When was that video posted yesterday? Uh, it was posted at like 1.45, I think. Uh, so that thing was sold by 4 o'clock. Wow. Cool. So it sold at what? <laughs> All right, well, bike sold. I'm missing a shoe. Uh, Harrison took my shoe for a video. Interesting, interesting uh, turn of events that have recently happened. I overhear Caleb talking with someone for like 10 minutes. And I'm like, I actually go in here and he's talking to a kind of disgruntled customer. Fill us in. I texted him in the morning and then he gave me a phone. He kind of shrugged it off at first and then he gave me a phone call maybe like 15 minutes later, but I was talking to somebody. So I was like, oh, maybe this is important. You know, what'd, you, call what'd, back. what'd you text him? Sorry, I the text bike, him. Sorry, I was just like, sold. sorry, the bug was sold. Like, I usually keep it pretty short. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm not trying to like, it's not trying to dig in anybody. I'm just like, no, hey, sorry, but that going. happens. Right. So stuff gets sold. If you know, he actually, he actually made a comment to me. He's like, well, you know, that was a winter time and I think the bike was going to sell. I'm like, well, I'm sorry, the bikes, our right. bikes sell. Even even in the wintertime, they, they sell. Shocker. Shocker, <laughs> right. I called him back right after that, and I was like, hey, you know, like, what's up? And, like, honestly, I was not, like, frustrated at all. I mean, like... He, this happens all the time. Yeah, it does happen all the time. At, at any given moment, there might be five, six, seven people who want to buy the same bike. Right. But they don't actually commit, and they don't actually put any money down. Right, and most people that I talk to when that happens, they understand. They're like, that makes sense, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't have any stake in the game. The correct response is, shoot, man. Right. Should have, should have, should have bought the bike. Right. You guys were right when you guys said that you sell these bikes quick. You know? Right. And so that's why we don't tell. That's why we're not like all salesmen and stuff. We're just like, look, they sell. I don't know what else to tell you outside of that. Right. That's what happened. Yeah. I mean, like, he was a nice guy. Like, I, he was just very frustrated. He was a nice. I, I, I would say he was a nice guy. Nice guy. They were just a completely different, a completely right. set of rules or misunderstanding where he thought he was under the impression that if we were talking and he called this, we had a deal. Right. I actually called him back. I actually wrote the line. I said, "Oh, I heard you had a deal. I heard you made a deal with with Caleb. Can you tell me what that deal was?" And he's he kind of went back. He's like, "Well, we were. He gave me a price. We were talking about a price, and I just didn't. I didn't actually decide. I, I would need to some. I needed to see some pictures first. And I'm like, oh, so you didn't have a deal. You just you were just negotiating. A deal is actually the transfer of of monetary value over in property. You know what I mean? Right. That's actually a deal. Right. You know what I mean? That's something happening. Uh, anything before that, until you actually put money down, that's just negotiating. I could call up a Chevy dealership and say, I want that Corvette. I'll be in there in 10 days. Hold it for me. They're not going to hold it for me. You know, they, hey, if you're, if you're really interested, you know what I mean? You want to put money down. No, I, I want to see some more pictures of it. At that point, you haven't you haven't committed to that bike in that condition because you know, maybe you don't you don't feel like you know the condition well enough. Hey, that's fine. And then the flip side, we're not going to hold you to it at that point. Right. At that point, we're not holding If you say, hey, I don't want to do it. Like, we're, we take just as much risk because we're not going to, we can't hold you to that. Right. And then that's actually a point I made. I said, if we were negotiating and you found a better deal for a better bike. Right. Would you have gone and bought it? We, you would have bought it. But I, I couldn't have called you and be like, hey, man, we were negotiating. Right. We were negotiating. Come back and buy my, my bike. Right. No, of course not. That's ridiculous. You know what I mean? Right. Until you put money down, everything else is just talk. And we understand that. He said to you, he was like, well, what if you were looking at a, a car and this happened to you? Same thing. I'd be like, shoot. It was better. It was as good of a First deal of as all, I thought. I this happens to us all the time. Right, it does. We buy a lot of vehicles. We buy a lot of cars. This happens to us all the time. Usually, the good deals get eaten up real quick. That's why you got to stay on top of it. No one's ever mad about it. No, you know it's I mean? always like, dang, I should have paid a little bit more for it. Right, they might be a little nice frustrated that they didn't, they didn't get the bike. Hey, right. He was pretty disgruntled. He didn't think that that's the way things would work. He thought we were just doing bad unethical business right. practice and I don't know what what would be more ethical than the way we do it if every time someone was negotiating a price with us 
Let's say some guy sends us an email or calls us and says, hey, I'll offer you 1400 bucks less than what you're asking for. What do we do? Do we not sell, we can't sell the bike for a day or 24 hours right. or 12 hours? Or, you know what I mean? Like, like what's, at what point in time is the deal over? If he stops picking up his phone once, twice, three phone calls, you know what I mean? It's, it's very ambiguous. So the best way we figured out was just, first one that puts money down. Right. That, that's who gets it. Like, if we were taking $500 deposits and then shopping those deals around, you know what I mean? Like, that is very that's wrong. shady. You know that's what I mean? That's very wrong. That's right. so wrong, you know? But if you don't take a deposit, I, I don't know what to do for you at that point. Because we've been in so many situations where people are like, I'm buying that bike, I'll be there in two days. And they never show up. They never show up. We can't, we can't get a hold of them. Like, that's right. what normally happens. That is why uh, how SRK Cycles is the biggest scammer in motorcycle history. Yeah, and... We dang, are the worst. This is where we run into that scenario where if we had had four of those all at the same time, all the same color and all the same miles, probably could have sold four of them. And he'd still be trying to get it. I know. For $5,000. So it's two days later, after all that stuff happened. The funny thing is, yesterday, I go to an auction to buy some motorcycles. We had a lot of people calling us about, about that 2014 Voyager, even though we've had it for about a month. I make a video, everyone sees it, they all wanna buy the bike. I'm at the auction. I see a couple bikes similar to it. 2015 Vulcan Voyager, bought it. 2016 Vulcan Voyager, bought it. Uh, Nomad, bought it. So we actually, we made a couple phone calls. We actually called the guy back. The guy who was really mad about us selling, we called the guy back and said, hey, listen, we bought some other ones. If you're interested, let us know. We called some other people back who were, who tried to buy the other one. We have people coming to buy this bike right now. This one or the other one. The guy actually bought a couple bikes from us. He was super pumped that we were able to get, his buddy wanted the bike and we didn't have it because we sold it. But then he was super pumped that we were able to get it the next day. These guys are gonna show up. We'll see how that works. Hopefully, uh. This turns out to be a happy ending for everyone. Now Caleb's gonna clean this bike up. And while Caleb's doing that one, I'm gonna wipe down this one. Uh, we had to, we brought them back in the rain yesterday and they're a little, you know, been rained on. All right, the guys are here. Is this your truck? Yeah. I like that, man. Old Dodge. That's yeah. cool, man. Good old 12 valve Cummins. That's it, man. That's, that's what it is. That's sweet. Still purrs like a kitten. And it, it just got 135,000 on it. That's it? Yeah, when I bought it, it had that's, 120. That's crazy low miles. Yeah, man. I love this little thing. Well, cool, man. What do you think about the bike? Awesome, man. I, I don't know. I can't decide which one now. I like them both. <laughs> they are both very good bikes. Yeah. They're both clean looking. I like them both better than the red one that I originally wanted. Yep. So. Yep. They're a little more expensive, but they're newer with less miles. Yeah. Tough decision. Yeah, it is, but <laughs> I'll make one. I'll make a decision. I'm going to leave here with one of these things. You know yeah. all about them. You, know, you know about the 1700s. They, yep. They're bulletproof. They run great. They, they handle run well. They run great. Everything's good with them. I mean, I guess it's the biggest thing is which color scheme you like that. I know. That's pretty much what it boils down to. What's happening? Sean, you're the man, brother. Yo, you're the man. How you been? Good, 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 good. You can't decide he likes them both. Just, for, just, just take them both. I thought for a second you were buying a second one. Uh, you, know, you kept calling me and I'm like, I didn't mean to. Oh, you sold us your... Yeah, yeah. Claro, and I bought, I had a KLR, and it wasn't me. You remember you telling me that, you got rid of that. Yeah. So you guys think, both had adventure bikes. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I think I'm going to the Suzuki Bergman. Really? Really? Yeah. Really? yeah. When you get one, like I've I've ridden one. They're, I know. They're, I've they're seen great the video. bikes. Yeah. Why? Why? Just why? I got. They're cool bikes. Don't get me wrong. I mean, Shorts, cool. sandals, coffee mug. <laughs> Chilling, baby. But you're still going as fast as you are in this. It'll outrun that's this. All, so you're gonna you get like you're gonna get like a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> of course. And just all right. And let my chest hair grow. I'm on video. <laughs> yeah, this one's got the one. rack. That one's, that one's got the backrest. Yeah, but I got a backrest on my Nomad fit right on that. I mean, that's... This has got a thousand miles on it. 1,100 miles. It's a baby. Oh, that actually has it. So your phone goes in there. There it is. Oh. It does have all the stuff in it. It's oh. Be so that's things. Bluetooth, isn't it? Yeah, this yeah. has all the stuff in it. There it is. Yep. yep there it is. That's done. So <laughs> the other one doesn't have it in there. Oh. Sinks with your phone. That's a couple... That's a... That's a nice 200 bucks price for yeah. a couple of Really? Yeah, I remember, was it was that guy? Remember he wanted AM radio or whatever? That's what he wanted or something like that? This is done. Buy this one. That's 300. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Nope. This is 400 bucks right there. I didn't even realize it. Didn't even that. notice it. I didn't even notice me, it either. Me neither. This guy is on it. This one's got, it. what they say, all the gingerbread. Yeah. 
So when I'm going across the country, all that's going to come in handy. Ooh, what is ooh, that? Got bag liners. Oh, oh. you are killing Yo. me, man. Whoever bought this thing dropped about 2,000 bucks at the, the Kawasaki store. Yep. Bought everything to match the bike. Wait a minute, though. And then unloaded it. Oh, he's so got a beanie. Got a beanie. Hold on. No is, it, way. Is, it, is it a Vulcan beanie? It's not. It's just a plain he, he, black he beanie. Watch it. He's going to wear that when he gets cold. Yeah. That's, that's not you, you don't You only get that beanie if you buy this bike, though. This is done. Dang, this is loaded up. This is done. Loaded up. Bought it. Brought it home and didn't ride it. Yeah, that happens more than you think that. That's a thousand. It happens so often. Like, people are always shocked when they're like, what's wrong with it? Why'd the guy get rid of it? I'm like, I don't know. Every There's a lot, lot of people that do that. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people get real scared about it. They're like, how come the guy only rode, yeah. a, you know, a thousand miles in, in three years? It's like, well, that's pretty, oh, that's, that's kind of average for this area. But some guys like to ride. Yeah. Some guys like to own. Yeah, yeah I, I think it's this one. It's done, dude. Yeah, I think it's this one. Big time. It's cool, man. You want to do it? Let's do it. Awesome. Let's do it.